Thank you for clicking on this video, you beautiful person. I'm gonna remember that, I will, I owe you one. What's up guys, welcome back to the most amazing top 10 with me, Danny Burt. You can follow me on Instagram down there, and this is the channel where we take all kinds of wonderful things from all around the world and put them into a nice little top 10 list so you guys don't have to. And today, we're talking about the top 10 creepiest websites on the internet. I feel like I always have to do the creepy ones on this channel. It's like, it's creeping me out. But before we get into this, I want to hear from you guys. If you could creep out everyone in the world at the same time, how would you do it? Let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to read these answers. All right, guys, websites from WTF creepy to strange creepy to just plain old creepy creepy. We're going to break down the top 10 for you right now. And let's jump right into our number 10, which is humanleather.co.uk. Guys, if you were hoping there's been some funny mistake in the website name called humanleather.co.uk, then I'm sorry to tell you you're wrong. This is an actual website that openly offers their service of turning the skin of dead people into fine leather. They then craft it into whatever you ask them, including human leather belts, human leather wallets, and human leather shoes. What's that? You guys fancy the sound of a human leather wallet? Well, that's going to set you back $14,000. But why does it cost that much? Well, it turns out human skin isn't that easy to come by. Most people, when they die, prefer to just die and be buried or cremated, not to have themselves skinned and turned into a human wallet. On to number nine now, guys, which is a really intense one. It's called planecrashinfo.com. Now, if you go to the last words section on this website, it will show you the last words of pilots before their planes crashed. It's very intense, very creepy, and not for the faint-hearted. Some of them on the list even include the actual recordings that you can listen to. At the top of the page, there's even a warning saying that the contents of this page may be disturbing to some individuals. You guys have been warned. Now, maybe some of you can stomach hearing the last words of people before they possibly die, but either way, let's move on to our number eight, which is takethislollipop.com. You are presented with a very simple choice. Do you take the lollipop or not? Well, if you do, then be prepared to go on a pretty creepy journey. It requires you to put in your Facebook details and then shows you a very creepy video of some crazy guy who you would not want to meet in a dark alley browsing through your Facebook profile in the dark. He looks through your pictures and all sorts before he leaps up and gets into his car as he's on his way to find you. <laughs> Now this creepy website was supposed to raise awareness for people about how much they share online. But it requires you to put in your Facebook details into a very creepy website. So yeah. But maybe you do want to take the lollipop and check it out for yourself, in which case be my guest. But we're moving on to number seven now, which is staggeringbeauty.com. Now you might think that a website called staggeringbeauty.com might sound quite nice, but you know the title of this video we're in right now. So yeah, it's not going to be nice, it's going to be creepy. When you go onto this site, you're greeted by a big black worm. Harmless enough, right? Yeah, but as you start moving your cursor, the worm follows it. But be careful, because if you move too quickly, then this happens. It honestly scared the hell out of me, but that's not going to stop me from recommending it to you guys. After I watched it the first time, I was like, nope, I'm done. But then I just watched it over and over again. It's kind of hypnotic, and that's pretty creepy. Why would someone make something like that? I don't know. But all I know is that we're at number six now, and it's whiteenamel.com. Nope, it's got nothing to do with teeth. I think. White Enamel is a point-and-click adventure set in an insane asylum. On every page, you have to solve small puzzles to advance to the next creepy part of the story. And all the while, there's creepy songs being sung in the hallways and the sounds of people screaming in the distance. It's just an all-round creepy website, and I think the whole pointing and clicking thing gives it a really creepy, old-fashioned feel to it as well. Whatever makes it creepy, I played it for about an hour before I just noped the hell out of there, but I played it long enough to tell you guys that it is one hell of a creepy website. All right, guys. We're halfway through now on our list of creepy websites, and at number five, it's Death Row Last Words. This one is really unsettling, guys. It's a website that lists a whole bunch of people who have been executed on death row in Texas going right back to 1982. It shows their race, their name, their age, but the really creepy thing is that you can click the last statement section to see what their last words were before the execution. Wow. Um, is that normal to have this kind of stuff on the internet? My guess is 
not. I'm not sure why it's there, but all I know is that it is very creepy material. All right, folks, we have reached number four, and it's creepypasta.com. Now, if you guys don't know what creepypasta is, it's basically a horror story that's written and shared online. I actually did a video that's right up here where I took the top 10 of them and made it into a nice little video for you guys. So if you want to learn more about it, click that right there. But if you want to see hundreds or even thousands of the creepiest stories the internet has to offer, then creepypasta.com is your creepy friend. One of the creepiest creepypastas on there is now the infamous Slenderman story, which has even been made into a video game. Some fans of the creepypasta website took things too far though when two girls from Wisconsin attempted to murder their friend by stabbing her 19 times as sacrifice to an online demon. They claim their inspiration was the story of the Slenderman on the creepypasta website. Are you still with us? Good, because I think you've made it further than most. And we're at our number three now, which is CelebrityMorgue.com. Have you ever wanted to see pictures of dead celebrities all in one place? Well, even if you didn't, someone went ahead and made a site for it anyway. Here you can view pictures of all kinds of dead famous people, from Elvis Presley to Abraham Lincoln, Kurt Cobain and Tupac. This site has all the creepy snaps. <laughs> Very creepy stuff. These poor celebrities can't even escape the media's obsession with them when they're dead. Alright guys, we're at number two now and it's a reminder that somewhere, somehow, someone is watching you. It's Opentopia.com. This site boasts over 2,156 webcam feeds from across the world that you can watch online. What's creepy about that, I hear you ask? Well, Opentopia doesn't actually own any of them. They're all privately owned cameras that can sometimes show very intimate settings like the inside of people's homes. The site has been criticized for hacking these webcams, but Opentopia claims that the cameras were never hacked, they're just unsecure. One woman was outraged to find that a webcam she had in her bathroom was broadcasting to the site every single time she had a bath. <laughs> I know the feeling. Sometimes I feel like there's a camera right in front of me, watching me, recording my every move, but like, I'm obviously just paranoid. Okay, folks, let's do a quick recap of the creepiest website. So far, we've heard of the last words of pilots and prisoners. We've said no thank you to human wallets and mental asylums. But our number one sends shivers down my spine and it's ShaySaintJohn.net. Shay St. John is a fictional character of a supermodel who was disfigured in a train accident who then rebuilt her body with a collection of mannequin parts. Shay owns a telekinetic burn doll called Kiki. The character first appeared on the internet in 2003. The videos have trippy sound effects and use repetition of weird scenes and images to creep out anyone who watches it. You can check out the YouTube channel with such classics as Hand Thing or if you want the full Shay St. John effect then visit the website and keep clicking until the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Now the creator of Shea St. John actually died back in 2010, so I'm afraid you can't actually ask him why he made this character and why he made this creepy website. Yeah, it's just not gonna happen. All we've been left with is this really creepy website that if you can stomach, then go and check it out and maybe you wanna share it with your friends because I'm sure they might like it too. Alright guys, we know that the internet has a lot of dark places now, and if I've missed any of them, then let me know in the comments below what I should have put on the list. I want to check them out because I'm kind of enjoying getting creeped out now. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. We do take the best ones, and we are turning them into videos just like this. In the meantime guys, thanks for watching this channel. We here at Most Amazing Top 10 are enjoying all your support so much. You're all such great fans and we really are reading these comments and we love your suggestions. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have on the channel, then hit that subscribe button. There's also two videos floating over there and you can follow me, Danny Burke, on my Instagram. In the meantime guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you very soon.